today we're talking about 10 guns and weapons no one should pack punch in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies that includes my boy Call of Duty World at War Zombies and also that includes Call of Duty Black Ops 1 Zombies, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies and my neighbor Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies as well and all I wanna say please don't roast me too hard I know I'm gonna be pack punching this gun just for the sake of this video but don't throw shades at me and don't roast me alright but hey even if you pack punch these guns they are still crap if you can guess one weapon drop it in the comments right now and real quick I'm doing a mini giveaway if you are interested check out the link in the description I was just like hey you guys have been like so kind to me right so why not actually give it something back to you and I feel like I'm gonna be doing this shit weekly I, I, I don't know we'll see but hey if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe with notifications and let me know that you're in the comments so I can put you in my next video you know how that shit goes but coming in at our number 10 spot we're talking about the M1 carbine now the M1 carbine it's a world at war zombies weapon and it's also in call of Duty Black Ops 1 Zombies because we actually got the Resurrection DLC and with that Treyarch brought all the Call of Duty World at War zombie maps into Black Ops 1. That shit blows my mind. I'm just like god damn and of course we got DLC 5 in Black Ops 3 but hey it doesn't matter right we're talking about the M1 Carbine and I'm also actually playing with this on Call of Duty Black Ops 1 because for some reason I couldn't play Call of Duty World at War Zombies on PC and record it at the same time. I don't know but hey at the same time that shit doesn't matter but it's a wall weapon weapon that costs 600 points and it comes in with 15 ammo in the mag and 120 ammo in reserve and it's a semi-auto sniper rifle or not a sniper rifle but an actual rifle and when you pack punch this yes please spare me don't roast me too hard I know I'm about to pack punch this but it has 15 ammo in the mag and 150 in reserve and it's called the Wittershins RC1 and hey surprise surprise now it's an automatic rifle but that changes nothing it's still not a good meme and I'm just gonna say please stay away as humanly as possible uh, from this thing because this is not a good meme like I said and it doesn't do any damage but at the same time it still does damage uh, yeah it, it does damage surprisingly but what I'm trying to say is that shit's not that great it's like you're gonna like pew pew the shit out of it and then you're gonna reload and the reload is pain in the butt and all I'm saying do not pack punch this gun it's not a good meme you have a lot of great choices that's it that's all but coming in at our number nine spot we're talking about a dank meme by the name of smr now check this out it's very important you ain't gonna want to miss that all right it has 20 ammo in the mag and 140 ammo in reserve and once again it's a semi-auto uh, it doesn't matter it, it has 20 ammo in the mag and 140 ammo in reserve but when you pack a punch this now it got 30 ammo in the mag but 390 in reserve but do not let that confuse you alright don't be confused very important and the pack punch version is called the smiler it has the numero uno and number three in those Do doesn't matter once again uh, but this time around it also gets that emoji radical which just like blows my mind uh, well we're actually missing this thing in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombies right but hey say no more when you double pap this check this out now it got 30 ammo in the mag and 210 ammo in reserve instead of having 390 in reserve and all I'm saying Neba you crazy uh, I'm not even sure who actually made this shit like bruh when you double pap this you get a cut in ammo like that's never done before right but you do get different attachments but hey it's still a big flop and what my Neba Bob likes to say is, is that top 10 anime betrayals is not even a top 10 anime betrayals SMR takes the cake but hey at our number 8 spot we're talking about the RPG it has one RPG in that doesn't matter once again basically I don't know what you actually say it like it you put that shit in it you know what I'm saying right and 20 in reserve and when you pack punch it it has 8 in that shit and 40 in reserve and it's called the rocket propelled grievance and now you can actually spam the shit out of it basically you got 8 ammo in the in the magazine of course it's not called the magazine but in the launcher or whatever doesn't matter once again but hey the thing is if you don't have that PhD flopper you gonna go down and it's not gonna be a dank meme Bob's gonna laugh at you and trust me you don't want that but coming in at our number seven spot we're talking about the Argus or what the zombies community like to call it the Argus and it has 10 ammo in the mag and 60 in reserve and when you pack punch it now it gets 
32 ammo in magazine and 96 in reserve and it's called the ancient messenger but don't let that shit confuse you alright every time you shoot the shit you have to kind of like do that pingu pangu type of shit I'm not even sure what you actually call it but you shoot pingo pango pango pew pingo pango pango it's not a good meme trust me be safe uh, wherever you are, don't use this thing. I, I want to repeat, man, don't use this. But at our number six spot, we're talking about the Car 98K, and this shit blows my mind. It's like the cheapest weapon in the history of Call of Duty Zombies. Maybe, uh, hopefully, I'm not wrong with that, but I feel like this is the cheapest gun. It costs like 200 points, and hey, in the Reese Remaster, aka the Giant, that's exactly where we got my neighbor RK5, and RK5 costs 500 points or 250 points. I'm getting confused here. I, I, it, it costs 500 points but when you actually buy ammo again it costs 250 points but we're talking about the car 98k which just costs 200 points to actually get it and it has 5 ammo in the mag and 50 in reserve and it's a bold action super powerful sort of rifle and when you pack punch it it's it has like 8 ammo in the mag and 60 in reserve and it's called the Armageddon but all I wanna say it's not a good mean trust me be safe wherever you are don't use this thing uh, don't do the car 98k it's not healthy for your life uh, hygiene maintaining that shit is super important than actually playing with this gun words of wisdom right here but ladies and gentlemen coming in at our number five spot we're talking about the same shit uh, basically we have war machine instead of car 98k but the whole sort of like thing is the same i forgot what that thing is like that term but at the same time it's called the war machine and it has six grenades in the magazine and 18 in the reserve and it shoots normal grenades but when you pack punch it now it becomes the real grenade launcher it has six ammo in that or six it doesn't matter and it has 48 ammo or whatever right it doesn't matter once again in the reserve and it's called the diastopic uh, demolisher cannot even pronounce the gun name but hey all what it does is that impact on touchdown that's exactly what it's known for and when you shoot this thing that actually hurts some zombies but that doesn't hurt a lot of zombies and that's the only reason why this shit is on the list but hey the thing is this can actually hurt you more than hurting zombies that's exactly why we're talking about not pack punch this gun and getting rid of it as soon as we actually get it so don't do the war machine it's not a good meme but coming in at our number four spot we're talking about the l96 a1 now first of all i really like the model i think it was great in black ops 1 multiplayer for sure it's a bolt action sniper rifle it got 5 ammo in the mag and 45 in reserve and when you pack punch it, it gets uh, 8 ammo in the mag. It, it doesn't blow my mind. I'm, I'm, not, I'm sure it doesn't blow your mind either but uh, now it got 72 ammo in reserve and it's called the L115 Isolator and that shit blows my mind because it has that 115 right but at the same time don't let that shit confuse you. It's not a good meme. Um, that That's all I'm saying. But hey at our number 3 spot we're talking about the M27 Law. Now check this out. It got 1 ammo or 1 rocket in the in the launcher and 20 like in reserve and the reloading is pure aids you cannot reload this while running neither because it's in black ops swan so that's another thing and when you're just walking zombies gonna hit you because this shit is heavy as a mother effer right and the reloading like i said is pure aids it got uh 10 ammo or 10 launchers or rocket in the launcher and 40 in reserve when you actually pack punch it and now it's gonna be called m27 anarchy and and this time it becomes automatic which is surprisingly surprising but at the same time it's not really surprisingly surprising if you know what I mean but at the same time what I'm trying to say like it becomes that automatic thing where you can actually fire this automatically but at the same time it's not a good meme that's why we have it on the list but coming in at our number two spot we're talking about the Alcar 9 now Alcar 9 is exactly where my boy M1 Carbine is on the original The Reese but Alcar 9 is exactly where M1 Carbine is but it is in the Dreese Remaster aka the Giant and it's a 750 points pistol an automatic pistol might as well say and it has 20 ammo in the mag and 116 reserve and when you pack punch it shit ain't that crazy it only got 40 ammo in the mag and 200 and reserve and it's called the Flux Collider 935 now given that you can actually put dead wire on it and this shit will become monstrous right but at the same time it doesn't have a lot of ammo but the counter argument to this would be hey Skizzle you can actually buy ammo over 
over and over again and this shit becomes unlimited but the problem is it's exactly where you would go and get stuck it's very easy to get stuck because of its location and if you're playing the giant you're better off actually buying the rk5 because you can actually train there and repeatedly buy ammo for rk5 and most people would buy the alcar 9 just to actually use it and make points but when you pack punch it you lose 5000 points and after you lose that amount of ammo you would have to buy it again which will cost you 4500 points and shit is not good if you're good with mathematics it's not a good meme but coming in at our number one spot this is also not a good meme but for the sake of this video we're just gonna name it a dank meme code name dank meme it's called the china lake and i can imagine what you're thinking of course if you're like my neighbor carlos you would never pack punch it but bob actually loved my boy china lake it has two grenades in the launcher and 20 in reserve and it reloads like a shotgun that is slow as a mole although i don't know what exactly is that i heard it somewhere and i was just like hey i'm gonna talk about it and throw it in my video but when you pack punch it it's called the china beach and it got five grenade in the launcher and 40 in reserve and it's not a good meme check out some other videos on the screen instead those are good memes subscribe if you're new to the channel like the video if you have enjoyed and and enter in the giveaway and all that sort of stuff and i'll see you very freaking soon